Om Shanti, we are here with 16th August God be blessing. Now there are two kinds of contentment happiness. One is physical through the five senses and the other one is soul conscious. And that's what we're going to explore over here. What kind of happiness are we looking for? One is a temporary one and one is a permanent one. So God says, may you stay in imperishable, super sensuous joy and give and receive happiness as a master bestower of happiness. Super sensuous joy, something which is beyond the five senses, super sensuous, beyond five senses, joy means soul conscious happiness, which is imperishable, something which the soul is feeling from the supreme soul and also through its own thoughts. Just as your organs are perishable, obviously the eyes, ears, all these organs are perishable, so the happiness received through them would also be perishable. It's going to be limited for a certain period of time. Yet, we the souls sitting within are looking for happiness by getting the things around us done properly or getting them done as we want them to be. So that means we're trying to control the situation, control the people, control things around us and that makes us tired and it makes us overthink. Therefore, when you constantly stay in super senses joy no matter no name or trace of sorrow we will be able to come to you now for that the thoughts have to be totally soul conscious by the way when we are there in super senses joy that's the time the creation happens that's the time when you don't even need to think what you want in life happens Gordon says if someone is causing you sorrow you mustn't take it that means don't take it if somebody's trying to push you, force you around, throw things around or throw tantrums around and trying to make you feel sorrowful, don't take it. Your slogan is give happiness and receive happiness. Do not take sorrow and do not cause sorrow. The first thing is we should not cause sorrow to anyone. The second thing is if somebody's trying to be greedy or jealous or hateful or is trying to do things to you that you're not meant to feel or not meant to receive from them and they're unjust let's say then there's a method of not taking that sorrow if someone causes you sorrow then transform it and give them happiness in return make them happy and you will then be called a master bestower of happiness it doesn't mean that you confirm to everything which you which they say it doesn't mean that you always say that yes you are always right or you're saying I'm going to do that. No. Even if they're saying something to you, you have your own self-esteem, you have your own courage, you have your own discipline, you have your own love for self and because of that, you're able to have good wishes for them. So even if they're thinking evil for you or ill for you, you can still think good for them and that is also a method of giving happiness through your thoughts, through your vibrations. So somebody's thinking evil about you, what would normal people do? Think evil about them back, right? It's about Give them back through words also they give you something you give them back but here god says through thoughts words and actions don't give them back but only give them something which i would ask you to give them to them because they are my children so you give them good wishes give them happiness give them joy give them everything which they need irrespective of what they are giving you and that's the method to remain happy no matter what so this is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris to know more details and you must be having questions of what if, what if and those what ifs can only be answered when you go for a 7 day session at a Brahma Kumaris center. Um,